Next up, a lot of people have slammed televangelist Pat Robertson for his remark that earthquake-ravaged Haiti has been cursed. Here's Pat. Something happened a long time ago in Haiti, mm -hmm. and uh, people might not want to talk about it. They were under the heel of the French, uh, you know, Napoleon the mm -hmm. Third and whatever. Mm -hmm. And they got together and swore a pact to the devil. They mm -hmm. said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. Mm -hmm. It's a true story. And so the devil said, okay, it's a deal. And uh, they kicked the French out. You know, the Haitians revolted and got themselves free. But ever since, they have been cursed by, by one thing after the other, desperately poor. Robertson's largely dismissed his critics as political ideologue non-believers, but he'll have a hard time leveling that critique at Grit TV commentator Frank Schaefer. Schaefer's a former member of Robertson's own flock, the son of a leading Christian conservative. He grew up in the Christian right, but he had a few things to say now about Robertson's use of words. And all I could think when I heard this garbage was that, um, first of all, I'm ashamed at times like that to call myself a Christian, though I am a Christian. And secondly, uh, just sat there shaking my head thinking, wow, if anybody's cursed by a deal with the devil, it must have been our founding fathers in the United States to wind up with idiots like uh, you know, James Dobson, who blames gay people for being gay and says they could change if they wanted to or this uh, twit down there on the 700 Club who for years has been spouting nonsense about uh, stopping hurricanes with prayers or that 9-11 uh, was the fault of America and punishment for allowing homosexuality and abortion. And, you know, sometimes it just gets to the point where, where you wonder how any listener of the 700 Club who, who absorbs this stuff from Pat Robertson could in good conscience send in another donation. And, you know, it doesn't surprise me that some, somebody like Pat Robertson is out there spouting away. What really surprises me is the, is the deafening silence by so many evangelical Christians in the evangelical establishment when it comes to denouncing a guy like this and begging him to go off the air or begging his supporters to quit supporting him. And so, you know, if, we, if, if anybody's been cursed by anything, it's, it's uh, the U.S., uh, you know, having a Dick Cheney who's out there saying our president is making us less safe because he's a Democrat. Uh, Sarah Palin, who says America's divided into two parts, you know, the real Americans, uh, that's her and a couple of Pentecostal Christians that vote Republican, and then all the rest of us. Uh, or Pat Robertson, and you know what? Even more so, even worse than Pat, Rush Limbaugh telling his listeners not to donate because it's just going to make President uh, Obama look good. These hate-filled people who just seem to be out there taking every opportunity, even an earthquake where tens of thousands of women and children have been crushed to death. Moments ago, as it were, uh, a Rush Limbaugh comes along, a Pat Robertson comes along, just folds that in. It's just more grist for their mill to spew more hate. I look at this and I say to myself, well... The reason I'm out there blogging on the Huffington Post and Alternet and these other places, the Brad blog, the reason I'm here on Grit TV, the reason I've written this book, Patience with God, Faith for People Who Don't Like uh, Religion or Atheism, is because I think we've got to change the conversation. This is Frank Schaefer for Grit TV.